All right. The hardest part about doing a reaction to this amazing drummer for me is you would think keeping track of everything he's doing, but no, it's actually it's actually for me saying his damn name. El Estepario Siberiano. Fuck you guys. Anyway. <laughs> I waited till after 15 seconds you can eat a dick. All right, so <laughs> El Estepario Siberiano. I know, that, and, and the thing about it was, right after I made my first reaction, I saw Six Six Samus's reaction, and he showed me how to say the name, and I was like, finally! And then I had to watch for the last two months. You guys skull drug me in the comments that I can't speak Spanish. I know. I know that already. And now that I can say it, I, I don't want to stop. El Estabario. Okay, um, let's let's check this out. Um, this is his. Uh, this is a drum cover that somebody said you have to react to, and I was like, well, you know, we already did everybody dance now, and he went nuts on the cowbell, and he said, well, there's one thing he does in this particular song from Lincoln Park. It's gonna freak you out, and I was like, what is it? He's like, I can't tell you. It's like, okay, okay, okay. So this is um, this is a drum cover of one of my favorite songs. Well, actually, a lot of people's favorite song from Linkin Park called "Numb." Now, "Numb," "Numb," and Linkin Park has that little off count, that little funky beat always has because it's new metal. Um, I want to know what he what he's gonna do here, other than be in the groove because he is the groove father. I just want to know what he, what the guy was talking about. What was the thing that's gonna make me freak out? I don't know. There's only way we want to find out is to press play. So three minutes and 11 seconds of the Groove Father. Here we go. My name is Old School Nerd. And I said his name right. Shut up. Here we go. Shut up. Stop, you did not do that. Okay, can anybody guess what I'm flipping out about? It's not the stick flip, no. It's not the rapid roll, no, it's not that. What's the part that I freaked out about? He's done it, he's done it twice. Watch. Watch it again. See if you catch this. And when you catch it, if you're a drummer, you know how hard this is. Not that. Oh, they got a good visual of it too. Okay, so doing a rim shot where you cup the hand. Okay, so let's say you have, okay, the stick goes between the two fingers and you make a resonance cup. So whenever you hit, you hit, it's not just making like a tick, okay? You're making kind of a hollow, it's like a clav sound, okay? Now normally, when you do that, before you start playing the rhythm, you put your hand in position, so that way the bottom of the stick doesn't hit the snare, or you don't get a little noise to start, right? So you put it in there, hi-hat and click, hi-hat and click, hi-hat and click, right? You don't just jump in and throw it. The fact that he's able to do it, set position, set resonance, tap, pull away, not make any contact noises, and do it in like, what is it, half a second, quarter second? Perfectly. And he's doing it over and over again. Dude, we're not even 30 seconds into the song, and I'm done. One of the most technical things I've ever seen anybody do, and it, it, to, to people who are not drummers, this means nothing to you. You're like, uh, uh, uh. But if you're a drummer, you know how hard it is to go 
normally when you when you switch from let's say you're playing let's play staying standard right and you're playing cross style right standard style right and you got to go to you got to go to a rim cup usually it's at the end of a roll slam or you know, you know crash you're off a ride come across a fill and then you come back from a measure and you use that 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 turnover of a line to give you time to position to then start to do this. Not just throw it in whenever you want and just... You don't do it like that. Another thing is he's playing to also, you gotta move up the stick, get it in right position, and normally you, you can't do it instantly, and if you do it instantly, you're gonna mess it up. And he's perfect every... Oh, my God. See, this is what he was talking about. He's so damn technical. Oh, my God. I swear. I'm not joking. If Neil Peart was alive right now and he saw him do that, Neil would go, nice. He would. Because Neil would be like, that was really good. It's not easy. That little, that little thing challenge other drummers to do that just do that one that one discipline to change over to a rim resident tap and just come right back and not miss a beat and do it oh i've been talking about this for three minutes straight think about it the most simple thing you've ever seen and i have talked about it for, holy crap Zero wasted effort, zero wasted movement, technical as hell. His hits are like a sniper's shot grouping. They are all very, very, very tight. And he moves through everything with such, it looks almost effortless. And I know I freaked out about the rim hit. I know I freaked out about that. But all this other stuff, I've seen him do this stuff so much that it's, it's sad that it's almost expected. It still blows me away, but it's like he's, he, I see him do so many videos where he does this, all the rapid fills and syncopation and ridiculous footwork, all that stuff has become so normal from him that I'm not shocked by it because I expect it. I just didn't expect something so technical to freak me out like that. Now I know why they asked me to do this one because they thought I would, they knew I would catch it. Oh my God. I love that so much. All right. Guy's a monster. Ooh, that was slick. It was different. It worked, though. Ooh, that was slick.
Not only did he do it again on the reprisal at the end, but it was faster on the reprisal. So fast that you didn't even hear the, the click. It was so fast. I, want, I wonder how many takes it took. A lot of people can say he could do it. I mean, I can't imagine him doing that, that rim click perfectly every, every time. It's so fast. Also, the, when, he's, when he goes to his fill... And then he crosses over the top to to accent with the snare while still finishing the fill on the on the on the floor tom because he doesn't have multiple toms he just has one tom so he manipulates everything. God, he's so good. My God, it's so good. I mean, God, he's everything he does is just flawless to me. All right, everybody. Um, my name is Old School Nerd and. Uh, this is El Estepario Siberiano, amazing Spanish drummer. God. Okay, this kind of work, these kind of videos are, are things that make me wish that Neil Peart was alive, that John Bonham was alive, because they would appreciate it. They would appreciate the effort. Like, people like me and all of you you just guffaw and you're in awe of the fact that it's so fast, it's so coordinated, it seems superhuman. But for master drummers, like the greats, they would look at this and go, damn, he did some good work. Damn, that took some work. Because it does. He must play drums from the time he wakes up. He probably even plays drums in his sleep. Let's be honest. Somebody ask him. Somebody go on his channel and ask him, dude, do you play drums in your sleep? And if you do... Can you take a video of that? Because that would be good. All right, everybody. Uh, this is my second reaction to this amazing artist. And, if, and if, by the way, check out his channel. I have all, this, all of his information in the description below. Please check it out. But more importantly, go to his channel and check out some of his other stuff. His hand pen work. His art. Look, he can play almost anything. If it involves tapping or playing with a, a set of sticks, if it's percussion of any kind, he's an absolute master. And with that, Thank you. Thank you for this second round. This was amazing. Hopefully I said the name right. And if not, you guys can judge me like you did last time. Because you're dicks. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like. It really helps the channel grow. Also, if you want to subscribe, right there. Big thank you to all my Patreons out there. We appreciate everything you do. If you want more content like this video, check them out above. Remember, love one another. Take care of each other. We're all stuck on this mud ball together. We'll see you later. Oh.